Hey everyone, welcome back to the holiday series for 2017 day four. Today I'm focusing on some neat and tangle products specifically to create a set of four cards that are holiday themed. I first picked out some traditional holiday colors, red, green, gray, and brown. And this is just um, some basic cardstock, nothing fancy. And then I'm also using the neat and tangled polygon cover plate die. And that is gonna be the focus of my card. So what I've done is I've ran this cover plate through with some green paper, the red paper, brown paper, and gray paper. And what I'm doing is I am taking pieces from each of the different colors and applying it onto my card front. Now, I did cut um, this die out of just some super dark green cardstock that was different than any color that I was using. And I'm using this as a guide as to where to place all of the different shapes and just kind of filling in the puzzle pieces. Now, this is sped up ridiculously fast. It did take me a good half hour to get through one card, but once you get to your second, third card, it gets a little bit easier because you only have so many pieces left. And I try to leave all the pieces where they were in the plate when after die cutting them so that it was easier to just pick and place in the respective places on my card front. To attach that, I'm just using some basic snail adhesive as well as some Ranger Multimedium glue to attach all of the pieces onto my card front. Now my card front is from a, made from a heavyweight cardstock. It's 120 pounds from Simon's Stamp. And there you'll see this card front. I love how it turned out. It reminds me of a Christmas sweater. So I did have little pieces of paper that were attached to each of the die cut pieces. This is just from when applying these pieces are to my card front. There was glue that had stuck onto that dark green piece and left some behind. So I'm just taking this um, adhesive eraser and I'm just going quickly through each of the cards in between each of the cardstock pieces on my card front to just pick up those stray pieces of cardstock. It went by really quickly and just really cleaned up the front of the cards really nicely. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the sentiment of my card. So what I'm doing is I'm taking some Versamark ink and I'm just smooshing it onto this piece of white cardstock. I'm then going to take my Ranger Super Fine Detailed Silver Embossing Powder and I am going to coat this whole entire sheet of cardstock. Now I was thinking about using some glitter paper for my sentiment, but I decided that it was just too flashy for this card. I really wanted the focus to be on that background sweater and so I decided to make my own um, silver cardstock and so I'm using the silver embossing powder and I don't know this is the most satisfying part of embossing heat embossing anything is just seeing it melt and transform so once I've done that and I've let it cool I'm going with the neat and tangled merry and bright dies now this die set comes with a die that you see in my hand which cuts out the words merry and bright and it also comes out with the background or comes with the background die which I've already cut a piece of vellum from so you'll see here that I'm attaching my sentiment onto that vellum background sheet. I did apply some sticky adhesive onto the back of the embossed cardstock because these are such intric intricate dies that I wanted to make it a little bit easier to apply. So once I've done all the sentiments, it's time to go ahead and apply the whole thing onto my card front. I did want to give it a little bit of dimension, so I'm using some cool tack adhesive and I'm just trimming them down and placing them behind each of the letters. So once I've done that and I've applied it onto my card front, the last thing I'm doing is applying some Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Sequence. This is the variety pack that they have. And that completes my card set for today. This would make such a nice gift for somebody where they could send their own handmade Christmas cards out. It was really quick to put together. The most time consuming part was putting together the puzzle pieces, but I feel like it was such it was just so worth it with the end result and how nice it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check back soon for day five of the holiday series. And as always, there's a link down below to my blog, which will give you a list of all the supplies used on this card for today.